There go footsteps. There's a red-headed mouse spider. I accidentally wet it with the hose. I think it's cross actually. I would be too if someone just threw a bucket of water over me. That's an Australian red-headed mouse spider doing its thing, a male. I came across him a few moments ago on the path and then I lost him. A red-headed mouse spider. You can see that spiders and crabs are related, can't you? I mean, they look like each other, don't they? Isn't he beautiful in the morning light? And this type of spider apparently only goes on the march in the daytime. Other close relatives of it only go on the march at night time. But this one is a daytime spider. There you are. This is handheld, I'm sorry. If it's too jerky for you. Look at his little bottom. It is a bit like a funnel web. He is related to the funnel webs, apparently. He's obviously out looking for a lady friend. Perhaps he's after a black widow. Isn't he beautiful? An Australian red-headed mouse spider on the march. I'd like to get a good shot of his fangs, but that means getting down even lower and endangering my, my, myself even more. Where's my shoe? Not far away. Isn't he beautiful? He doesn't know where he's going to, does he? There's my hand, and oops, I don't want to get too close. Where are you? There you are. I don't want to get bitten like a fool, do I? I don't. Let him go into that pile of stones, yes. He's only a small one. There's my finger to give you an idea of how big he is. I can't find my finger. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I don't want to put it too close. I think we'll say goodbye to him now. See ya. I wouldn't want to be ya. Let him stay there for the day. He'll find a friend eventually. <laughs>